Tyler's one of the volunteers for the Gilbert Historical Museum, and he has a couple stories to tell. Uh, we're here to investigate tonight, and one of the reasons we're here to investigate is some of the occurrences that are happening in several rooms, and this happens to be one of them. Tyler, would you tell us your story about this? Um, well, it was over the summer. Uh, me and my friend and his dad were doing like our own little investigation down here, and we were in the room next door, and we, we heard this crank go off, and uh, yeah. Could you give us a little turn? What's it sound like when that thing goes off? Very audible action. You'd hear that just about anywhere in a museum, right? Yeah. So what did you do after you heard it? Um, we came up here and uh, we didn't have a camera in this room, so we set a, set up a camera and uh, nothing else happened after that. So, when did this happen, Tyler? How long ago? Uh, it was about a year ago. About a year ago? Okay. Was it a particular time of year, like towards this time of year? Yeah, it was. Was October? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, an anniversary of October. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Norbit, N-O-R-B-U-T. And what do you do here? I'm a volunteer at the front desk. How long have you been here? I have been here since 2008. 2008? Correct. Can you tell me a little bit about the museum? Uh, sure. Well, actually, the, our museum is the history of the town of Gilbert. Uh, all the different exhibit rooms uh, represent a different phase of occupations, uh, agriculture, um, the home life room, uh, the family's room, where we have documented the original families of the town. Uh, so it's basically a history. Can you tell me what, where we're at right now? We're in the basement of the museum. This is the area that we store uh, things that people have donated or you know brought in that we're not quite sure what to do with yet, so they end up down here. Like that doll. Do you now the doll. Sorry about the doll. The doll used to be on exhibit in our family's room, and when we remodeled the family's room, we put the doll downstairs uh, for several reasons. She was pretty scary, uh, and actually, uh, her head would change positions from time to time while it was in the family's room. One day she'd be straight at you, the next day she'd be to the left, another day she'd be turned to the right. And now she has no head almost. And now, yeah, she should have quit while she was ahead. <laughs> what happened to her head? Uh, it's never been fastened very securely, so I think uh, they actually rotated the doll to face the wall, because too many people got creeped out when they came down here. And I think they just moved it out last week uh, uh, for a tour down here. And that probably knocked it off her, her shoulder. That's creepy. It is. Okay, Rod. Can we go way out there Sure. Hang on the other side. So, how do you get the full name? Norbit? Norbit, yes. Paul Norbit. Correct. So, so we're here with Paul Norbert, and this is in the basement of the Gilbert Historical Museum. And Paul's going to tell us a little story about a mannequin that he used to have upstairs, and brought it down here, and, and tell us what happened with it. Actually, there were two mannequins that were up in our uh, home life room that our quilting guild ladies wanted removed from the room so they could put some doilies and things over the chairs where the mannequins were seated. So on a Saturday afternoon, Right before the museum closed, I brought them down into the basement and put them in the barber chair. This barber chair, right? This barber chair. <laughs> uh, now, the museum was closed Saturday evening and it was closed Sunday. Monday, myself and my wife and a community service worker were coming in to start reorganizing the basement. Uh, Monday's a good day because the museum is closed and no one will bother us. And I was the first one to arrive. When I arrived, I came down here and the to both mannequins were totally dismembered. There was an arm over here, a torso over here, a head over here, legs, um, and no one else had access to the museum over the weekend. Uh, so I was a little rattled, of course, but I left things the way they were for when my wife arrived in our community service.
person. And before I stuffed them into a lawn bag, I said, look what happened over the weekend. And now I believe there has been some activity picked up in this barber's chair. And our guesstimation is that the barber has no sense of humor. So uh, uh, I stuffed them into a double lawn bag, threw them up on top of a cabinet around the corner, and thought if they ever come out again, we're going to lock the basement and no one's ever going to be allowed down here. But that, that's the story, it's true. Um, we can't explain really who did it, what happened, but it, you know, we tend to believe it was paranormal activity. Okay, very good. I think that's great. Do you want me to get the doll out of the bag and stick it back on the... Sure. No, I mean, <laughs> about a year ago we threw it in the dumpster. Yeah, I know, I, I didn't see the bag anymore, that's what I said. So. You, oh, you threw the bag away? No, we did. Right? <laughs> You're like, we don't want that. Perfect. So we know we got activity around this chair. That's... Do we know where this chair came from, Paul? Uh, Ray's Barbershop, which was in downtown Gilbert. I think turned out. In fact, right there. there's a sign right on the shelf there. Oh, you did see me. Oh, did you turn that back on? No, I turned it off, remember? Yeah. So does that mean it's back on? I guess so. It probably, maybe didn't get all the way off. I thought it said off. me and put your hands on top of mine. Let's get a good picture together. You and me. Come over, put your hands on top of mine. There's a camera over there to my left that's going to take a nice picture of us. Come on. We'll do this together. Put your hands on top of mine. Do that for me. Flashlights turning on no and way. other stuff. Where are you guys? Just so we know. Oh, in that room over there that you have to go outside. Oh, library. Library, yeah. That room is so has so much weight in that that it like puts on all kinds of Can you tell me who just walked into the room? We've been to it we've been on silent for a while now. 
I saw someone touch something and push the Tesla ball up there. Oh, that's cool. It was like a quarter of an inch, and I, it was pretty creepy. What box? The box with the doll in it. Oh my gosh, that box is so creepy. I got an EVP saying, enemy in the box. We also got the touchy one that buzzes. We were just saying, man, it was like, suck. That sign and game almost. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Rod's thing goes off down there. Crazy. Rod's elf meter. Okay, big shuffling noise to my right. I'm not sure if it was coming from upstairs or just down here, but. Did it sound like fabric? Yes. I that? heard that last week. Okay. Over by the doll? You know what it reminded me of? A big chiffon. Prom dress. Yes, when you shuffle through. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna exactly. turn my flashlight off for just a second because I just got the creeps. Okay. I just want to make sure there's nothing standing next <laughs> to me. <laughs> I may be dumb, but I'm not stupid. I, I, was, I, I was telling Jamie the first time I came here with you guys, I sat in that chair in the dark, not even knowing that doll was up there. Oh my gosh. <sighs> yeah, I remember you sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. And it was cold. It's a female. I swear she just said help. It sounded like help again. Laura we heard rustling the fabric like I did last week. You know, yeah. we'll try a little bit. She's wearing one of those big help. dresses, Laura. Mm -hmm. those big chiffon dresses. Yeah, as soon as you're walking, it's like it was right beside you. Yeah, it's very right here. Oh, no. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm glad it was you. <laughs> yeah, if you have someone sit here, you can see stuff going on behind them. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Where are you guys? Are you going to the uh, active yeah, room? Yeah. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> we can't find out if it's Pete or Kate. Yeah. Okay. Try Pete. Angela? Yes. Yeah, try the flashlight at the end of the table. Like I said, we, I don't know how many, what do we have? Five times, guys? Oh, at least. But once it turned out all the way bright. Really? Our, our okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the chair's over here. Oh. feel like they're going to blow up. What? Why are you here? Oh. Hey. Uh. I just heard a laugh. Like, in the room. I didn't really? hear that. Skip. Mark that. Can you tell me my name again?
like laying on this dress, maybe a touch this white, I don't know. Are you here tonight? Well, my camera battery dropped from about two hours to one hour. Yeah. I didn't see it drop, but I noticed it was about two hours when we were downstairs. what it sounded like a stomach ground, but it wasn't. Well, it wasn't a stomach ground, it sounded like electronics, like, ooh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You yeah. heard that? Yeah. Mm. What was it? Yeah. I thought that was Jackie. No, I heard yeah, that. you make electronic noise yeah. like that? <laughs> That's weird. I don't know, but I think we need to try this test. We need to go with football oh, shop with Dean. Practice check. With football shop. We'll have to check the camera and see if anybody's in here, but we weren't. Stargate 2012. <laughs> Styrofoam ball. I'm sorry, <laughs> wiffle ball. No. It's that was going. mine. Where'd that ball come from? That was mine. Oh, I don't think it was that big. No, no, no the one we had wasn't that big. Oh. Holy shit. What? What happened? Spider. No. <laughs> Mosquito? <laughs> I, I just had a voice next to my ear when I was there. I heard it. I heard was it? It was off. Yeah, I like heard that, that. right next to me. I heard it. And I thought it was you guys. I was sitting there kidding, you know, just in the chair, and it was like a... Uh, uh, Rog is not allowed to get anxious. <laughs> He's a sturdy one. Yeah. Of course, we never know, and that's the hardest part about this whole thing. Go back and look through hours of video and hours of audio. Did you guys just say something? Mm -hmm. Nobody said anything just now? Mm -hmm. I just got a whisper. Mark. Paul, Mark. Mark. If you want to knock something over to let us know that you're here and make a big bang, that'd be awesome too. Just not the creepy doe. Right. <laughs> That's my foot. Give us a tap. 
Can you do that for us?